Hey there everybody, how's it going? Sandman here. 2014 has finally arrived. That means uh, new things. The 366 project is history. Although I am still continuing on. I think I'm on like day 374. Yeah. I never said I was sane. <laughs> so anyways, 2014 is here. And uh, so that means new projects, new things. And uh, so this is my new video podcast. It's called the Five Miles More podcast. Um, it goes along with my new blog, the Five Miles More um, blog. It's uh, Five Miles More at blogspot.com. Um, check it out. Um, so, anyways, I'm gonna try and uh, run my first ultra this year. Kind of crazy. I don't. I don't know if I can go five miles more than a marathon, but we're gonna try. I have no clue what I'm doing, um, but. Uh, We'll, we'll give it a shot. What's the worst guy that can happen, right? I just don't finish. Yeah, like that's going to happen. All right, so anyways, for those of you who don't know me, um, I live in upstate New York. So right now, outside, it is snowing and freezing. Um, very, very cold. Uh, last week, the weather got down with wind chill, I think, like 30 below. Some, some of the coldest weather we've seen here in a long, long time. So burr. So, um... One of the things that you run into when you have super, super cold weather like that here in upstate New York is uh, how the hell do you run in that stuff? I mean, yeah, you can dress appropriately. The clothing's not an issue. The snow doesn't really bother me. Um, I don't mind running in that. Um, but the thing you got to watch out for is the ice. The ice will uh, take you out for the season. You slip, you fall on that, you break bones. And uh, that's no fun. And uh, luckily, I've never done that. Knock on wood, yet. Um, so, there's a couple different things you can do to combat that. Um, you can <clears throat> run on trails, which uh, sometimes helps. You know, there's not as much ice, but sometimes the snow has a habit of freezing and then um, melting and freezing on the trail, which can create a little bit of an ice issue. Um, you know, or you can buy something called Yatrix, which I've talked about. Um, previously, I have one of my pairs right here, and I'm basically, um, it's a rubber mesh that has metal springs on it wrapped around it for the soles of your running shoes, and it stretches over your shoe, and there's a Velcro um, fastener that goes over the top of your shoe. Um, my other pair of these recently cracked and broke, um, so they don't really last forever, but what are you going to do? Nothing really does. Um, so one thing I've always read about and uh, I've seen some other people do is put um, screws in the bottom of their shoe. So I figured my first podcast can uh, be about how to do that exactly. Um, never done this before. Um, so there's a little bit of trial and error. Um, things you're going to need. An electric drill. Probably some sort of hand... Um, screwdriver kind of thing and um, from what I've read online the number uh, what is it the number eight half inch screw is the best um, you know if you're worried about puncturing uh, the tread of your shoe and you know the screw actually coming back up into it um, there's quite a lot there um, there's over an inch so I don't think you really have to worry these are only <clears throat> like I said about half of an inch long the thing you don't want to do is get something that's gigantic um, you don't want a screw that's going to go up all the way. And what I'm talking about when I talk about screwing these into my shoe, this is not the end that is going to go ahead and, and uh, provide traction on the ice and the snow. It's the actual head of the screw. So you're screwing this portion up into the actual um, bottom of the shoe. So something like that too big. Um, I also write too that you could do like a number six, three-eighths of an inch, which is a little bit smaller, um, up by the toe, where there's less room and that kind of thing. So I bought both just to see. Um, I've already put some in, uh, just to give it an old try. I've never done that before. I didn't want to look like too much of an idiot when I film this, but I, I already am, so that's okay. I'm an idiot. Um, so I've already put some in. Um, the number six, the smaller one, is a little trickier. Um, but the regular number eight is a little better. So the cool thing about it is you don't even need an attachment for your screwdriver or your drill um, because that 
little hex opening takes that screw head perfectly. You don't have to do anything. Um, so you can just insert it in there. And uh, when you put it on your shoe, you want to be careful of two things. Um, that center portion, I don't know if you can really see it, but that is either filled with gel or air. I'm not really sure. Um, all I know is it helps me run. So you don't want to puncture that because if you do that, that's going to change um, the cushioning of the shoe. So you want to stay on the outside of something like that. Um, you probably don't want to do it on a portion like right here where there is no cushioning. And it only makes sense. Don't put the screws you know, here between the actual treads because that's not going to help you at all. You want to actually put it on the tread itself. Um, so you're going to want to do that. There's really no limit to how many you can put on. Um, from what I've looked at online, people have put a lot of them. You know, some people have put like five. Some people have put like 20. Um, so I guess it just really depends on what you want. Um, but it's really simple. So you, we'll do one right now. Put the screw in there, press it to where you want it. You gotta apply a little bit of pressure, it's not too bad. Now, the thing you wanna be careful with, you don't wanna screw it in all the way, because if you screw it in all the way and you're a little overzealous, you might actually go in a little further than you need. So that's why you have a little hand screwdriver. You take that, you can tighten it down the rest of the way so you don't go too far. Um, looks like they hold in there pretty secure. Um, I don't think those are going to be coming out, but who knows. Uh, so I'm going to put some more on. I'm not going to do that in video. I don't want to bore you to death. I'm a very boring person. Um, so I'll do that. Um, I will probably, you know, uh, do another little report here later on and let you guys know how it's working. Uh, you probably don't want to wear these on your carpet or on your ceramic tile or, or hardwood floors. Obviously, they're going to get really scratched up. Um, so it might be a little bit of a, an adjustment period. you got to remember those are on there. I forget stuff all the time. If it wasn't for stuff like this, I would forget my name. Good, good stuff. Love, love my Starbucks. Um, so, you know, don't forget they're there. I'll mark up your floors. Um, a couple of people have said, you know, it's irritating when you when you hit a dry patch when you're out there running and stuff because you can hear the clickety-clack. Uh, that doesn't bother me. I'm always listening to music or podcasts. So uh, I don't think that's going to be too big of an issue. But uh, And apparently in the summertime, after the snow and, and ice and everything are gone, you can take them out and it doesn't really affect the shoe too much. Um, I'm sure there's a little tiny hole, but I don't know what that would really do. I, I, I can't say I would affect the shoe all that much. Um, so, you know, do your research uh, if you're interested in doing this, or you can contact me. You can email me at uh, sandman357 at gmail.com, or you can get a hold of me through the blog, again, five miles more at blogspot.com, or you can leave me a comment on my, uh, my YouTube channel. I'll certainly get back to you and uh, give you any help you know, if you're interested in trying this for yourself. Um, but I hope everyone's doing well out there. I'm looking forward to putting together the you know, new blog and the, the new podcast and everything and uh, trying to hone my, my writing skills and my video taping skills and everything so make it a little more interesting, a little, little cooler looking. Um, I welcome your guys' feedback. If you have any, you know, great ideas or things you like, things you don't like, things you want to see, let me know. I'll, uh, I'll see if I can tweak some stuff. But uh, I hope everyone's doing well. I hope the new year's going well for you. And, uh, you know, on the old 366 project, I used to say, run for your lives. So I, I thought it'd be kind of kind of cool if I could make up something new for the 5 Miles More um, video podcast. So I was thinking, uh, how about go out there and add miles to your life? Um, you know. It'll improve your life in uh, ways that you wouldn't even imagine. Um, so go check it out. Go lace up some shoes. Go out there and get a couple miles in. Just make sure you got good safety precautions like these little screws in your shoes if you live in, you know, the subarctic like I do here in upstate New York. But uh, take care, everybody. Until next time, see ya.